All right, y'all. Yes, I have a fan on over here because it is so hot today. So if you hear a racket, that's what it is. It's just a little fan over here. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a quick unboxing of the Alice in Wonderland kit that was just recently released from Mooncat. Now, you know I do like Mooncat polishes. They have some really awesome shades, some really cool color shifts that you can't really find anywhere else. And then they also just teamed up with Disney to do this release. So this is how it comes packaged, like in this heavy duty, it was in a cardboard box, of course, but also in this heavy duty inflatable, almost like an envelope type deal. And I did cut it down the side so that I could get it out more easily. It was really packed in there. So they packaged this very, very well. And then here is your little treasure chest. Y'all know me. I absolutely adore Alice in Wonderland. I love it, love it, love it. And I'm so happy and thankful that Mooncat sent this to me. But what it is, this little kit that looks like a treasure, blah, blah, treasure chest. <laughs> See, travel down the rabbit hole. Take one, try one, paint one. How cute. It says, pull me, lift me. That way, go back, wrong way, this way. Now let's turn it around and look at the back. Okay, so it just has um, the, the bread and butterflies. How cute is that? Just the imagery is just so bright and vibrant. So you open it up and we have this back here, the envelope that says take one. This says try me. And now here are the polishes. So this is do you play croquet? I wish I hadn't cried so much, and a very merry unbirthday. And I'm going to open these up and let you see what the actual colors look like. And I'll probably be doing some nails in a future video using these. And then you have this awesome little nail file here. This is one of those glass files. So let's open that up. How cool is that? I do like that style. That style of file! Anyway, you have the polishes here, and then in this envelope back here that says take one. I'm trying to not tear this up. I want to be so gentle with it. Okay, these are the nail decals. I knew that they had some decals in here, so let's try to take this out, like I said, without ripping anything or tearing it up. Stay curious. Okay. Um, hold on, let me open this. Okay, so I got this out, and then I used my X-Acto knife to just cut that seal there. And these are nail decals here. There's so many cute ones. There's the Mad Hatter's hat and some mushrooms, teacups, and all the card suits, of course. And here's the bread and butterflies. Some sparkles and the Cheshire cat. I love the Cheshire cat. He's like one of my favorite creatures in all of the movies and stories. I love him. Okay, so let me just stick that back in here. Or should I leave it out? Let's just stick it back in here. Like I said, once again, I'm trying to do this without tearing anything up. Let's see if I'll be successful. Oh, I did it. Okay. And then right here, it says, pull me. There's a little drawer. We'll try to pull that out. And it's a snug fit. I, I tried to pull it out a while ago. It is a very snug fit. So if you pick it up, it's not like the drawer is just going to fall out on you. Okay, and then down here, we have some magnetic polishes. And you know, with the magnetic polishes, you paint them on and then while they're wet, you take your magnet here and hold it over it and it gives you sort of like a cat's eye effect. So let's pull this out and then we have three colors here. Does this come all the way out? No, so I'm gonna have to pick this up. Okay, we have, uh oh, we have uh, Bread and Butterflies, Cheshire Cat and Mad Hatter. Sort of a purple and then a green and then this pretty yellow color. So let's open these up. I'll get them out of here. Let's open them up and take a look. Okay, so for this one, this is the Bread and Butterflies. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Let's try to open it up and take a look without me making a mess. Pretty, pretty. So there's that one. And then here's the Cheshire Cat. A beautiful purple color. Ooh, look at that. A beautiful purple color. So let me take it out and take a look. Very, very pretty. All right, let me get the lid back on. Now watch me spill it everywhere. <laughs> Y'all want to see how pretty it is? I'm just going to pour it all over the table. And then this is Mad Hatter. Such a pretty color as well. Let's open that up and look at that. Very, very pretty. Okay, so I'm going to put these back and then we'll look at the others. 
Okay, so this is Do You Play Croquet? Pretty, pretty. I usually don't wear a lot of pink polishes, but this, I don't know, it has sort of like a, like a lavender, purpley type undertone to it, which I think, I think is really pretty. Okay, this is the I Do Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much, this silvery blue color. <coughs> Excuse me. So very, very pretty blue. Sort of like a Cinderella type blue, isn't it? And then a very merry unbirthday. You see that shimmer there? Let's see what that looks like. Very merry unbirthday to me, to who? All right, let me put these up and then I am going to go get some, um, some nails and let me prep them and then we can see what these look like. Okay, so I have used just plain old plastic nails, no no base coat, no base color, no top coat. These polishes are as I laid them directly on the nail. Now I did use three coats of each because I did use these uh, plastic nails here, the nail blanks. And you know, sometimes they take more polish than your normal regular nail. But anyway, like I said, this is three coats of the polishes. And this one here is the Do You Play Croquet? So there is that one. The next one is the I Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. So hold on, focus, please. Okay, I Wish I Hadn't Cried So Much. Let me put my hand back there, see if it'll help it to focus a little bit. There we go. And then the Very Merry Unbirthday. That one is really, really pretty. I am really liking that one. Yeah, here are those three. So I'm just going to set them over here. Now, here comes the magnetic polishes. Let's set this out of the way. Now, the magnetic polishes, you can see I've already been playing with the, with the Mad Hatter one there. When you put on your last coat of polish, let's say with these, I put on three coats. When your first two are dry and then you put on your third coat, that's when you want to use your magnet, okay? So let's go ahead and use the green which is, um, this is the Mad Hatter one. So I'm gonna go and put on my final coat here. Oh, let me get some more on my brush. Go ahead and put on my final coat. And then you're gonna use your magnetic tool, which is double-ended. Now don't touch it to the nail. You're just kind of holding it over the nail just for a few seconds. I'm just gonna rock the nail back and forth and you see you get this really pretty cat's eye effect okay now this polish dries pretty quickly and you want it to dry quickly so that the design on your nail doesn't you know kind of like fade away but um that's how you use that now let's go let's put the lid back on this first before i knock it over now this is the um the cheshire cat so we're going to go ahead and put on our final and third blah blah final and third coat on this one let's get it on there and then i'm going to use the rounded end here like i say you don't touch it to the nail just hold it there just for a second or a few seconds you see how you get that effect there and it's probably not showing up as well with my light here but you get this really cool cat's eye effect. You know, you can just play around with it and it's just fun to watch the polish move with it. So there's that. Now let's do the uh, bread and butterfly one. Get that over here. I'm trying to not bump those because they're wet and I don't want polish all over my finger, which I'm usually getting it all over myself anyway. Cause I'm messy. I'm messy when I do my nails. <laughs> So let's do this one on the bread and butterfly polish. Hold it for a second. And then there you get the pretty cat's eye effect. Like I said, it's probably a little bit more difficult to see uh, with my really bright and harsh filming lights, but um, it's a really pretty effect in real life. So you know, here's your special magnetic polishes there. See that? 
And of course, mine are messy, but you know, you sit down and mess with it, you can get a really nice effect out of it. But yeah, that is what was in this kit. So I'm going to have a link for you down in the description box. I'll also pin a comment. I don't think as of the filming of this video, I don't believe that these are sold out yet. But yeah, just head on over there and check it out and grab one if you want it and check out some of their other awesome polishes. But I hope you enjoyed this brief video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all later. Bye.